Hey everyone, I'm Pratik, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a new dental textbook called Dentistry in a Nutshell. If you want to see more educational videos similar to this, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. Dentistry in a Nutshell is a book that has been published by Dr. Nicola Gore, who amongst many things is a long-standing DFT trainer, and Dr. Rabia Mann, who again amongst many other roles is a mentor for young dentists and trainees. The book comprehensively covers key dental topics and scenarios, ranging all the way from dental trauma to post and core preparation and oral medicine. And although it is targeted towards younger dentists and trainees, particularly those who have just finished through dental core training and dental foundation training, I feel as though this book is suitable for any dentist at any stage of their career. This book is useful in a number of ways. Firstly, if you know you're about to carry out a procedure the following day, but you haven't done it in a little while, you can pull this book out the day before and have a little read through of all the steps involved in a particular procedure. Therefore, when it comes to treating a patient, you'll be far more confident. Additionally, if you keep it in the surgery, you can use it as a quick reference guide. So if you have an emergency patient booked in with some type of dental trauma, you can use the book to find a trauma table, as well as how to manage different types of dental trauma. The other bit that I think people will find particularly useful is that it will deal with scenarios that you won't come across very often. For example, in practice, you may not come across oral ulceration that frequently. And so if you're not that well versed in how to manage it, the book will provide you a relatively clear way of managing this within practice. Additionally, we have so many guidelines and referral protocols that we have to follow these days that there are a huge range of documents to look at. This book makes it far easier as everything is compiled into here. That includes guidelines for referral for periodontal treatment or even endodontic treatments. This is why I think that this book isn't just for young dentists. I think dentists who are further on qualified who maybe haven't encountered certain clinical scenarios for a while could use this book as a very quick revision and reference book. The added benefit is that this book has been peer reviewed by specialists in each of the areas covered. This means that the content you're getting is evidence based and it's up to date so that you can confidently use it when you're treating your patients to make sure you're providing the best care that you can for them. The book is also laid out really clearly and everything is colour coded, particularly all the chapters. Now I'm someone who's really attracted to books that are colourful and that have clear diagrams and tables and this book perfectly falls in line with these features. By having clear flow diagrams and clear pictures it makes it really easy to understand the content you're learning. Additionally there are high quality photographs attached to a lot of the clinical situations and so what you're learning is immediately there in front of you in photographic form. One of the other things I really liked about the way the flow diagrams and tables work is that rather than just using generic material names they've decided to use the trade names for materials and again this just shows how the book can be applied to your real life working day to day in practice. I know when I started working in practice there were certain materials that were there and I hadn't come across the names before although I knew the broad dental material category the material fell into. However in this book you have the actual trade names included for various materials this means that you can immediately relate to the material. Now, I've mentioned a lot of the positives of this book that you have clear diagrams, there's a broad range of content, you have high quality images, there's also contributions from specialists and peer review. But I think one of the biggest things about this book is the price. I found this book for £46 at the time of filming on Amazon. And I think this is an absolute bargain for what you're getting, especially when you compare to other books that are around. Given that this is essentially a little dental bible with lots of guidelines, the referral criteria, protocols, management advice, all of this means that you're getting a whole lot of dentistry for a very, very small price. Additionally, 50% of the profits are going to charity, so it's a win-win for all involved. Overall, I think this book is an excellent addition for any dentist. It doesn't matter whether you're newly qualified or a dental student, I think even dentists later on in their career would find this extremely useful just as a quick reference guide. If you do have any questions about the textbook, feel free to leave me a comment below or to contact me on a social media platform. And if I don't have the answers, I'll contact the authors in order to see what they say. I hope you found this quick review useful, and if you are in two minds about whether to get this book or not, I would highly recommend it, and you won't regret your purchase. If you did find this video useful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until the next video, take care.